All right then, welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question, Devan and new project. I hope you have read the question once, but I'll quickly summarize it for you. There is this company, uh, Devan so far, is planning to build N plus 1 different buildings on a coordinate line. So what is a coordinate line now? Like this is a coordinate line, right? So minus infinity, plus infinity, somewhere between there is 0, like 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. So this is what a coordinate line is. Coordinate of each building is an integer. So a building will be built on an integer only. For example, 1, 2, 10, 20, 30, so on. Uh, no two buildings can uh, stand at the same point. So, at a given uh, integer coordinate, you can only build, a, build one building at max. Let xi be the coordinate of the ith building. And to get from building i to building j, you are going to spend xi minus xj, like the absolute value of infinity. So, if some building is located at say 10, another building is located at some 20, then number of time, like number of minutes spent going from this building located at 10 to 20 will be 10 minus 20 is absolute value, which is 10. Fine. So, that's what it is given. All the buildings are going to be numbered from 0 to n. So, since he wants to build n plus 1 buildings, the buildings are being numbered from 0 to n. And uh, one building uh, will be the headquarters where this guy will stay, right? So, this building number 0 uh, will be the headquarters of this office, right? And where he is going to stay. And then we are giving information or given information about this array A. So, what is this array is? The way the this array AI is given is... Uh, Devan will visit ith building ai in times, right? In the next 10 years, uh, he is going to visit ith building ai times. Each time spending 2 into x0 minus xi. Uh, why 2 into x0 minus xi? Because going from x0, the location of the headquarters, the 0th building, to some building at some xith location is going to be x0 minus xi's absolute value. But he has to come back as well, right? So, x0 minus xi minutes spent going to that building, right? And x0 minus xi is absolute value spent coming back from that building, right? So that's why he's going to spend 2 into x0 minus xi for each visit. That is very important. Each time, right? For each visit, this is how much he's going to cost. And this ai gives uh, how many times he's going to visit. So total time spent uh, to visit ith building will be ai into 2 into x0 minus xi, right? It's very simple because for a single visit, like going to that building and coming back is going to cost this. Since he's going to visit EI number of times, uh, this is the total number of time he's going to spend, right? What this guy asks you is, uh, choose the coordinate for all n plus 1 buildings, uh, the buildings uh, numbered from 0 to n, right? So that over the next 10 years, the businessman will spend as little time for walking as possible, right? So that's what we are after. So co more concretely, uh, we are given n and AI. What is n? Uh, n is the number of buildings he has to build apart from headquarters. So total n plus 1 buildings he has to build. And this AI, interestingly, it starts from like this, it starts from, a, it goes from A1, A2 till AN. And what is AI? AI is the number of times he is going to visit the ith building, right? A1 is the number of times he is going to visit the first building. A2 is going to be the number of times he is going to visit the second building. And what will the time spent for visiting some building, uh, like over the next 10 years? It will be AI into 2 times x0 minus xi, right? That will be because this is for a single visit and coming back and this is because he is going to visit AI number of times. Okay. What we want to output is, uh, we want to output the minimum time Devan will spend walking. So, yeah. So, what he is asking is minimum uh, time walking will be like for a given uh, configuration of buildings, uh, the total amount of time spent walking will be A1 into 2 times x0 minus xi plus A2 into 2 times x0 minus x x2 and uh, like this will be 1 right plus a3 into 2 times x0 minus x3 right so for a given configuration of buildings that is x0 x1 x2 so on the lexin uh, you, this is the how much you're going to spend right for each building you have uh, 2 into x0 minus xi times so you just want to sum it up that's fine what we want to output is uh, t the minimum time okay so we want a configuration which yields minimum time spent walking and on the second line, the sequence x0, x1, so on till xn. That is the configuration of n plus 1 buildings. All in all, we'll just return with the coordinates on the number line from minus infinity to plus infinity, where you are going to place this n plus 1 buildings numbered 0 to n and the minimum time spent walking. That's what you have to return. Now, what observations can you make here? Now, first observation is uh, like I think you may have made it very easily that uh, you should keep uh, you should keep the most uh, frequently visited building as close as possible to the headquarters 
So it doesn't really matter where you put uh, x0, like anywhere on the number line. But you should definitely keep the frequently visited or most often visited buildings as close as possible. So what I'm trying to say here is, let's say you have a configuration like this. Some building is visited 10 times. Uh, some building is visited uh, 20 times. Some building is visited again 10 times. Then some 9, 10. Doesn't really matter which uh, which is the number. Like it, is it A1, A2, A3 or doesn't matter that much. But once you put X0 here, you should definitely keep a building uh, which is visited 20 times to either x0 minus x1 or x0 plus x1. Why? Uh, because if you don't put it here, when you put it anywhere else, uh, you're always better off putting this guy here. Right? Like this, I think this is not very difficult to see, right? Because you are visiting it, visiting it more number of times. And uh, if you place it very far away, this guy, x0 minus xi, will always give more value when you place it very far. Right? So, you should place the most visited building one past the headquarters on either side right so let me just color it so this 20 is gonna be placed let's say here and the next most visited this 10 should definitely be kept here right kept here like you cannot keep it here it doesn't make sense you're always better off keeping it that 10 here right and then again on the same ground so this 10 has to be kept uh, Two past the x0, either here or here, doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's what you have to do, right? So this question is very simple. Uh, what you have to do is uh, you effectively sort these guys, uh, sort the visiting times, right? Uh, the idea is pretty simple. You just sort AI, right, in descending order. So you can sort it in descending order. So now you will have a array in descending order, uh, descending order of the visiting times. And what you do is uh, you place x0 at any place you want. Uh, let's place, place it at 0, right? It will also take care of the constraints, right? So I can place x0. I can make x0 to be at the 0th location, right? So this is where I can place uh, the first building, right? So the, let's just call x0 equals to 0. And then what I can do is I can put uh, an here. Then I can put uh, an minus 1 here, right? I'm putting the most visited building just one before just uh, one past the headquarters, right? And next most visited also one past the headquarters. And this is your best bet, right? Because you are placing the most visited buildings as close as possible, right? Similarly, you can put then an minus two here and uh, an minus three here, so on and so forth, right? So this is a simple greedy strategy. Just uh, sort the array in descending order and start placing them uh, first uh, one past the headquarters then two past uh, the headquarters, right? And yeah, I mean, that's the strategy. We have solved even more difficult question than this. So yeah, there's no catch here. Uh, put the area in descending order and start placing uh, the buildings uh, like in this manner, right? Okay, guys, uh, let's quickly implement the solution. I've already taken the input. There is just one different thing that I've done here is this N is fine. Uh, we want to build N plus one buildings apart from headquarters. And instead of AI, what I've done is I've created this visits uh, vector uh, this is a vector of pair of ints uh, why i have created a vector of pair of ints because uh, along with the building information like how many times this uh, building is going to visit it i also need information about what it is number right because in the end what we are uh, expected to return is we are expected to return x0 x1 x2 so uh, what is the position like the coordinate uh, associated with this building so what is the strategy by the way uh, sort this in descending order and then uh, assign first two to one distance apart from the headquarters, uh, then next two to two distance apart from the headquarters, then next two to three distance apart from the headquarters, while when the headquarters will be at the coordinate axis zero, right? So that's why uh, I'll need information about this building as well. Okay, fine, you'll understand it, don't worry. Uh, I'll need a variable here, total time, uh, because we also want to print total time here, right? Then I'll need information about what is the current coordinate, right? Because the first two will be, like the first two in descending order is gonna be assigned uh, to one pass. So this coordinate will be initially one. Then for the next two, it will be two. For the next two, it will be three. So for the first two, it will be one in the sense that the first two will be assigned to one and minus one. Next two, it will, this current coordinate will become two. Then it will be assigned to two minus two, so on and so forth. Okay. But before we do any of these things, we need to sort these visits, right? So I'll sort it. But remember, we have created it one based. Uh, so we don't care about visits of zero, frankly. So we'll only sort uh, visits dot begin plus one that is uh, from the first guy till the nth guy visits dot n because that's what we care about there's a just a area of size n 
and one last thing uh, this has you have to pass a comparator greater of pair of indent so this will sort in descending order visit from visit of 1 till visit of n it is going to sort it fine of course if two visit times are same it is going to then sort it based on the second value but like we are not uh, given here to prefer some buildings over other so that's not a problem if two visit times are equal you can assign them to any coordinate you want uh, which is next in the order so yeah what i need is uh, i need to create a configuration for n plus 1 buildings right and by default uh, config of 0 is set to 0 so this config is what uh, this config of i is actually equal to x of i right so config of 0 is already set to uh, 0 because x0 it has to be 0 the headquarters and the next uh, config of uh, 1 till n will be x1 till xn right in the end we have to print till xn fine so yeah uh, let's go on what we want to do is we want to go through all the buildings i equals to 1 i less than equals to n i plus plus uh, first calculate the like add the time that will be taken to visit this building so for total time you will have to add something what is the time what is the time uh, taken to visit this building it will be uh, 2 into how many how much far this building will be this building will be far actually uh, this current coordinate minus 0 right absolute value of this current coordinate minus 0 into how many times this is going to be visited so visits of i dot first I am not uh, taking absolute value here because I will implement it in a way that this current coordinate always becomes positive. But this is uh, the formula, right? So this I guess we already discussed. So we are just adding the time required to visit this building over next 10 years. And what I am going to do is, uh, if i is 1, this is how I'm, this is my strategy, I am going to assign it. I will assign the first two buildings to coordinate 1 minus 1, uh, then next two building to coordinate 2 minus 2, then next two to coordinate 3 minus 3. You can do it other way around, uh, but that's fine. Uh, this is what I have decided to opt. So, if uh, this i is odd, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign config of visits of i dot second. That is to this building number, I'm gonna assign the current coordinate. For example, the first building which is has the highest number of visits, I'm gonna assign one. Else, second uh, the second most visited building, config of uh, visits of i, which visits of i dot okay <laughs> visits of i dot second i'm gonna assign a minus one so it will be minus of minus of current of chord okay so for that uh, minus of current of chord right and then um, i have to increment current chord right plus plus so what effectively we are doing is uh, for each and every building i'm just adding uh, the number of time required to visit it and then i'm gonna assign the coordinate to it and once uh, I have assigned, let's say 1 minus 1, then I'll increment it. So next time 2 minus will be assigned, then again it will be incremented. The next time 3 minus will be assigned and so on. In the end, I just have to uh, print total time followed by a new line. And uh, lastly, we have to print positions like x0, x1, x2, xn. So what I'll do is I'll just go through all the positions in our config, right? Because config of 0 will be, config of i will be x of i, right? And then I'm just going to print the position followed by space and uh, lastly see out new line so yeah uh, that's that uh, let me just quickly run it it seems to be working so i'll quickly summarize it um, i've taken the input uh, i've sorted uh, the array based on the largest visiting time i have assigned the first two to one minus one next two to two minus two so on and so forth and i've calculated total time for each one of them and i'm just printing it it works. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.